Hi everyone, I'm just going to start off with a really quick um, example of how to open up one Excel worksheet, uh, read from it, and then open up another one and paste what we've read from the first worksheet into the second worksheet. Okay, so this will be just a nice quick one, and then we can expand on this actually a little bit later. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to, one, open up the Excel worksheet, and then we need to read a cell that we want to read from. So we'll call this one, call it read one. Yeah, pretty. So now we need to use, oops. What we need to do is Excel read range. Where are we? Sorry, range read it is. Okay, so then we need to tell it which Excel workbook. So the workbook, that one, and it's on the first sheet, so we'll just call it the default sheet. And now we need to tell it which cell we need to actually look at to read. So in this case, it's in B1. Okay, so if we just ran that. Um, it would open up the Excel worksheet and read from the cell B1. So we can test that just by with a quick message box. So I'll run that. It says January, okay, because that's what's in cell B1 there. So I'll close that, get rid of that. Right, so now that we've read from that, now what we need to do is paste that into a second Excel worksheet. So basically what we've got to do, it's basically the easiest way to do it, copy everything from there, and then we can just go and rename it. So we'll call this one Excel 2, and we'll just go to the next letter in the alphabet, T, and we've got to change that to workbook 1. Change that to P, change that to 2, change that to T, and change that to P. Okay, so then that'll open up the second Excel workbook. But now we need to put in what we read from the first workbook. So, this is where we need to do it as an Excel um, range right. So you go range right, that one. Okay, so we need to tell it that's the workbook that we're going to actually go to. And we want it in default sheet, which is usually sheet one. And then this is where we put in what we actually want it to write. So in this case, it's the read one local variable. Okay, and then we tell it. Which cell do we want to put it in? So let's put this into oops, B1. Okay, so if we were to run that now, then we should actually have it. So it opens up that first workbook, uh, which is book 34. It'll read from cell B1, and then open up book 1, and then write what was in the other one. So let's try this now. Opens, reads, and paste it into B1. Okay, so that'll do for that one. So what we'll do is we'll leave it from there, and uh, next video we might look at expanding on how we can uh, run that with, say, a loop, so we can get January, February, March, etc., all the way across, and I'll show you how to do that. All right. so until then, stay happy, and um, catch you on the flip side.